YouTube and moderators of YouTube. Um, I'd like to take a moment this morning and just reach out to you YouTube folks, you moderators, and see why my AdSense has not been um, approved. I've been waiting for the email. I applied December 8th. So it's been a full month and I've been very patient and waiting for approval and getting the email. I've gotten no email from y'all yet. So um, I don't know why I wouldn't be approved. Um, my channel is educational. I've got like geology videos on and natural life. So I know it's not a lot, AdSense. It's 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 just cents, um, really, per view. Um, but it's better than no cents. And um, yeah, Gertie's a thirsty girl. And um, every little cent helps. Um, on that note, I would like to thank uh, my very first subscribers for the lovely donation that you made to my PayPal account. Thank you very much. That came in handy more than you know last week. So, um, with that being said, I'd just like to get this situation um, resolved here pretty soon. Okay. Please and thank you. Okay, now that I'm done with that, um, on that note, uh, this video does contain most of the things mentioned above, or behind, or before, or whatever. So, um, enjoy the video, y'all. Bye. Alright, y'all, so we're in Odessa. And the sign said that there was visitor information this way. The visitor center. Tourist information for Odessa. And, um, this visitor center is kind of weird. I did find some folks, but they weren't in that office. They were around the corner, um, and they gave me information on the Odessa Media Crater. So, stay tuned for that. Second floor of this building that was built in 1961. Um, which is weird for a visitor center because it's kind of way downtown. And Okay, this must be it. So, I know to most of y'all, uh, vintage architecture is not, like, awesome, like I think it is. So, um, I apologize for what comes next. Enjoy. Or don't. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I had to stop and use the restroom in this 1960s uh, building, and the interior designer in me had to share the bathroom. I mean, they must have tried to update it in the 80s with that little border there. But look at that pink tile. That's pretty awesome. Original sinks. All right, y'all. I am going out. To see. The United States biggest meteor crater. And this was on my list of things I really wanted to see when I came out here. And I have um, a disability that I can't remember stuff ever. And because I didn't write it down, I forgot about it. Totally forgot about it. Until I happened to 
there's a bunny. Did you see that little bunny? I hope that caught that little bunny. He just hopped right across. It was so cool. I bet these brushes are full of bunnies. Oh, glad I didn't run him over. That would have ruined my day. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, they're closed because it's cold here in Texas. That's so something that Charleston would do. It's cold. They closed the track. But there's the crater. We're standing at it. One about the size of, he said, of a VW bug. A long time ago. Ooh. All right. Well, good thing I didn't go on the path because I'm not a real fan of snakes. So, okay. That's it for the meteor crater. Enjoy. Well, sorry y'all, it was closed, but, oh, bird, but on the bright side, I saw a bunny, I saw two bunnies, and it looks like the sun is trying to come out, so, and I'm in Texas, so it's still a great day, catch up with the other later. Okay, as we're leaving the crater, crater, crater the Texas Horse Center, as we're leaving the um, meteor crater in Odessa, I just thought it's interesting how in Texas they put you onto the highway. So there's this lane with traffic going towards us, and of course my lane going away. Well, depending on which way you're going. Look, I think the sunshine is coming out the first time in days. Look. Anyway, so I have to get onto the highway by crossing oncoming traffic. That freaks me out a little bit. I just think it's weird. And there's no, like, egress lane. Like, they just, like, oh, I better hope that my gertie girts can, like, get it, because... Like, I'm on the highway right now. I don't know. I just think that's, that's odd. But, what is that out there? That's a big mountain or something. Alright, guys. I stopped at this picnic area. In Picos, Texas. To cut up some fruit and cheese for lunch. Answer some comments. Tracy, I just answered your comment. Thank you for um, commenting. Um, I will drive safe. <laughs> That's the plan.
next thing I know, I got mountains over here, and I've been traveling 20 all these days, and it's finally coming to an end. So I've been on 20 from Columbia, South Carolina, till right now, where I'm about to get on to. That's a road runner right there. Do you see it? Look at it. Look at it go. Yep, yep, I'm for sure. Pretty sure about it. I don't know. I have to ask if you look at it. Is it going to let me get close to it? Kinda. I bet that's a road runner. I'm going to ask somebody what that is. What kind of bird is that? Road runner. It's a real road runner? Real road runner. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Where, what are these mountains called? Do you know? These are the Davis Mountains. The Davis Mountains. Yeah. Okay, thanks. That gentleman said it was a real road runner. He confirmed. And these mountains are called the Chaparral. And then this little station. It's pretty awesome. All right, y'all, the geologist in me is geeking out right now. I know the sedimentary layer is some kind of ore layer because it's red. Look at that. Oh man, this is so freaking amazing. And that looks like it's got a little bit of like quartz material in it. This is some sort of event layer. You can see that it runs all the way up there. Oh man, it's so freaking awesome. A piece of the layer. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna get my camera and take some pictures.